Welcome to this month's ABSCO News Bulletin, produced by HR and Recruiter TV and sponsored by the Technology and Recruitment Alliance. I'm Rachel Downey. Following months of lobbying the Government's Department of Business Innovation and Skills, BIS, on the consultation of reforming the regulatory framework for the recruitment sector, ABSCO has succeeded in securing an opt-out for limited company contractors. Thanks to ABSCO's influence, the government will retain a provision for individuals who are limited company contractors to opt out of the regulations and engage with recruitment firms in a business-to-business -business relationship. Samantha Hurley, Head of External Relations at ABSCO, says, I am delighted that BIS has taken on board the concerns of our members who took the time to respond to the consultation. ABSCO CEO Anne Swain thanked Samantha for her hard work and tenacity and congratulated her warmly on securing this significant concession, not only for our members but also for the wider recruitment community. There have been a record number of entries for the ABSCO Awards for Excellence this year. This means the awards, sponsored by RBS and Daxtra, will be the most fiercely contested yet. Each of the categories is judged by an independent panel of leading industry experts and the winners will be announced at a prestigious luncheon at RBS headquarters in London in October. These awards have generated so much interest that, in previous years, the announcements have trended on LinkedIn. Response to the Deloitte and ABSCO recruitment benchmarking survey has been very encouraging. Well over 100 recruitment firms have taken part, which should mean accurate and very helpful benchmarking information being fed back to participants. The results are being analysed now and we look forward to sharing the insights with you soon. And on a fun note, the annual ABSCO charity ball in aid of Childline is on the horizon. This year's theme is Flamenco. It promises to be a magical night of entertainment with clicking castanets, fine Spanish dining and a disco, casino games and a number of surprises. Tables go very quickly, so ensure you book yours now. We're also now accepting auction prizes to help raise money on the night. If you have any sporting season tickets, memorabilia, holiday homes and anything else which could raise money for Childline on the night, please contact Jen Youssef at the AFSCO office. Well, that's all from me this month. I'm Rachel Downey, speaking for HR and Recruiter TV, bringing you this month's news summary for ABSCO and sponsored by the Technology and Recruitment Alliance.